Now, today's topic is like uh, why we need an initialization blocks using an initialization block. So, why we need to use an initialization block what is an initialization block so first of all we'll try to analyze the requirement from there we'll try to fulfill the requirement using the initialization blocks and the variables so let us assume i'm taking per name year per name month calendar date and revenue. If I click on result, it will show me what all the years are available. Under that, each year, what all the months are available. Under each month, what are the dates are available. And it is showing me output of their revenues. So, if I go further, also it will show me another years and another months, each year, month and its revenues, everything will be displayed like this. So, now the requirement is, this one is displaying all the years, all the months, all the dates and its revenues. But our client or the customer would be interested to have only the current years, current months and current dates data. That means, let us assume in real time, all the time repository or our ETL target database is getting loaded with everyday data. Let us assume here we can see highest, highest year might be 2010 in this data. Let us assume tomorrow morning it is getting loaded with 2015 December 12th or 13th data and it is going to load with current date 12th. So, what they want to do an analysis and what they want to provide a solution is a customer is going to run one report, one report they need. That report all the time it should show him the current data. That means whenever he runs, if he logs in next day and whenever he wants to view the data, it should show him only the result with current year, current month and current date and its revenue. So, how we can design that logic in real time? Let us assume we are having a year, month and date, three columns. In a year, I want current values means whichever value is maximum, that is current value. Right? Yes. So, if I apply max of year. So, what will happen? It will create max of year and it will pull the results of that particular year, what is the maximum value. In the same way, if I go to month, max of month, year is filtered in that current month. So, maximum month data which is available there, it will pull. So, max of month. In the same way, if I assign date for this max of current which will show us max of date. So, this is how each and every year, month and date everything will be assigned with maximum values. So, in a in order to make this available, we need to write an SQL. Normally, if we set up any filter like how we set up with a static filter onto the front end criteria, that will be a static filter. It will not change unless and until you go and change, it will not be get changed. So, in order to achieve this kind of requirements, all the time a report will be running, that report should hit with an updated data all the time which should be get filtered automatically. So, how we can achieve for that in OBI in order to write any SQL to the database. So, we will create an initialization block.
initialization block we can write an SQL2 database using this initialization block through connection pool which is available in your physical layer. Now, once you created initialization block and a query is run, once you click test, it will pull the values for above 3 maximum related things what we applied. So, this value should be will be assigned with a variables. Variables were nothing but which holds a value. One variable will hold one one value. So, how this variables, the, once this initialization block, let us assume initialization block is done with an SQL and it is going to hit the DP and it is going to pull the values. This values, this values is going to assign with variables. This variable names will be filtered in our report on our report columns. This is how we will do it. So, here what happens in real time if a customer runs a report first it will check column related variables which are available. Once a variable is assigned, a variable will be assigned with a value in the RPD. RPD, so variable in the RPD it is going to check and RPD will have some values. So, through initialization block it will hit the DB and in return DB sends a, query, sends a result which will be displayed onto the report. This is how the process will be going on. First, an initialization block will be created. In that, we will be using an SQL. Through a connection pool, it will be created and it will be pulling some values. Once the values were pulled, that values will be filtered in the report onto the columns. Once the columns were filtered with the variable names, that variables, each and every variable will be all the time refreshed with some some values. So, that values will be displayed in your front end reporting. Let us create a solution for this. So, I am going here, going to tools, select variables, initialization block. Session variables where the variables will be having two variables, one is variables and other one is session variables. Session variables which we use it for the security when it comes to the security, uh, user level security, user login, authentication and authorization there we will use. Now, here we are learning about normal initialization block. We are creating a dynamic repository variables. So, I am going to new repository initialization block. Here, I am creating maximum periods or maximum max I want year month and date. Now, if I click data source edit data source I can browse the through a connection pool I am just selecting it through a connection pool. Once it is selected I am having one SQL here, I will just take that SQL to run it. We can use this SQL.
just I'm just changing the schema name so we can see here select calendar date per name month and per name year from so and so schema table where calendar date is equal to select maximum build date okay so now once I click test here it will show me the result with three values first thing it is showing with maximum year value which is available under the year column what we applied the max value that is 2010 and the next it is showing with 2010 and a 12th month next it is showing with 2010 12th month and the 30th date is the maximum date which is available under that date column now variables were empty these values were not assigned with any any variables so once we assign a variable that name variable name what we assign there that will be filtered in the front end so what happens if the next year data got refreshed and it is loaded automatically once the report runs it will go through the variable name whatever the value get refreshed here into the rpd that value is going to get filtered into our report so here let us ass uh, assign the variable names for assigning variable names we need to click on edit data target once we select this we can click on new variable let me assign from top it is date so i'm assigning d you can assign date full name or one two three whatever you want but all the time you should filter the exact format what you are filtering here next month year date month year three columns were created so if i click test now you all can see here 2010 12th month and what is the value which is available there we can see 2010 year year column variable is assigned with y and per month it is assigned with m per date it is assigned with d so we are going to filter year month date in this similar way in the reporting so let us save this one and we'll try to check it into the front end so i'm closing this saving the changes consistency is done now i'm going to front end i'm selecting this criteria i want to apply a variable filter repository variable in the criteria i want to apply it onto the per name here i am going here and selecting filter if i go add more options i can see here repository variable so here i am applying a variable name capital y which will project me the year once i click on results see whatever value is there 2010 that value will be get filtered into my year 2010 but here all the months are filtering because we have not applied any value onto the month related column so now i am going to criteria tab once again i am going to per name month and i am selecting filter add more options repository variable and with capital m so 2010 12th month should be filtered so if i click on results we can see here twelfth month it is filtering next calendar date date should be changed to 31st because that, that is the higher date which is available from the rpd level filtered values so i'm applying applying capital d into If I click on results, we 
you can see here by name year month calendar date and its revenue everything got filtered this is how we can do the filtering for each and every value which we want to project through a variable so if next year data got populated with the new results in our database so that automatically is going to assign with updated values with 2000 data with the so and so date whenever customer logs in if we save this report whenever customer logs in and views the report automatically he can view the result into this updated data with this updated data so this is how we can analyze and this is how we can make the things happen hope you enjoyed this creating this uh, initialization blocks and variable this is how we will create initialization block and a variables can be assigned to pull the dynamically filtering data from the rpd level thank you